Hi guys. This is D Tech. Today, we are going to download and install Forda Client version 7 on Mac OS. I recommend you to follow these steps to avoid errors since there are minor changes for this version. SSL VPN will allow remote users to connect to the FortiGate device to access the internal network using Forda Client for Android, iOS, Windows, and even some Linux operating system. Internet traffic can also flow to the FortiGate for security scanning. First we have to download the Forda Client version 7 for Mac OS. Open your web browser, go to support.fortinet.com. Take note, you can only download the file if you have a device registered to your account. If not, you can download it from the link description below or comment your emails. Now, click on Support, Firmware Download. Under Select Product, choose for the Client. Click Download. In this window, you will choose which operating system you want to install the application. We have the option for Android, iOS, Linux, Mac, and Windows. Since we are going to install it on Mac OS then I will choose Mac. Next is you will select the version categories, since we are going to install the latest version then we will select the last one which is version 7. During the time of this recording, we only have one option available which is 7.0. You can download and read the version release notes by clicking on the HTTPS. We will now download the Forda Client VPN setup. The file is .dmg. Click on the HTTPS to download the file. While waiting for it to download, we will check the release notes, you can read all the details for this release. We will focus on the product integration and support. You can see the desktop operating system supported. Minimum system requirements. 40 OS supported, although it says here 6.0 and above. I'd been testing it for versions 5 and so far no issue or errors encountered. You just have to make sure to follow the prerequisite after the installation. Scroll down and you will see the supported language. Go further and you will see the resolved issues and also known issues. Let's now check the downloaded file. Double click on it to install. Choose install. Click continue. Continue again. You must agree to the terms of the software license agreement. Click on install and input your administrator password. Click install software to proceed. The installation was successful. Let's now run the application. Go to your taskbar. Right click on the Forda Client logo and choose Open Forda Client Console. Check the box then click Accept. Click Configure VPN. To check the application version, click on the Information or I icon. You can see the version is 7.0. Click Home to go back. You can configure SSL VPN or IPsec VPN. You can check my other video for IPsec VPN configuration, we will configure SSL VPN for this demo. For the connection name, you can enter a name based on your preference, usually the company name or the branch name. For the description, it's optional, you can leave it as blank. For the remote gateway, this would be your remote site public IP address. You can enter the public IP address or the dynamic DNS. If you haven't customized the port then leave it as blank, but if you did, check the box then enter the port number. You can check save login for you not to enter your username every time you want to connect to your remote site. Enter your username then click save to apply. Now, this part is very important, 
I tried running this application without doing this prerequisite and I encountered different errors. Go back to the release notes and check the special notices. It tells you that you can install Forda Client 7.0 on Mac OS 11 Big Sur and 10.15 Catalina. With this Mac OS release, however Forda Client works properly only when you grant permission to access the full disk in the security and privacy panel for the following services. You must enable the services on security and privacy. To do this, open your system preferences, choose security and privacy go to privacy tab scroll down and select full disk access we have to unlock first for us to make changes enter your password then unlock this is the only option available for now take note if you encounter any error in the future then check this full disk access again you will see the for the client services needs to grant access Check the box. It will tell you that Forda client will not have full disk access until it is quit. Click quit and reopen. Wait for it to restart the Forda client application. Go back to security and privacy, you can see it's now enabled for the full disk access. Now lock the settings. Let's now try to connect. Input your password then click connect. You can click continue to connect, or you can permanently disable this invalid server certificate pop-up. To do this, go to settings or the gear icon. You can check do not warn invalid server certificate to disable the pop-up but it's currently grayed out. You have to unlock the advanced features first. Click on the padlock icon. Enter your password then click OK. You can now check do not warn invalid server certificate. Go back to home. Input your password then click connect. Notice that the invalid certificate did not pop up. In this window, you can see the connection details, the VPN name, the IP address configured on the remote site, your username, time duration, bytes received and bytes sent. To disconnect to the remote site, simply click on disconnect. Let's now go to backup configuration. Imagine that you have several sites configured and it's very troublesome to manually input all the details again, you can simply backup the configuration, you can restore it to other devices or let's say after you upgrade or format your device. I just configured three remote sites for the sake of this demo. To back up the configuration, click on the settings or gear icon. Click on backup. Input the file name you want. We will give a name of for the client, the file is .conf. You can change the destination, we will leave it as default which is documents. Click save. Now, we need to configure password for the backup file. Input your desired password then click OK. Backup file created successfully. You can go to your backup file location to double check the file. Now, let's delete the current remote sites, assuming that it's a fresh install or new device. Click on the three line icon and you have three options, you can add a new connection, edit the selected connection or delete the selected connection. We will choose delete since we are going to delete these remote sites. Yes to proceed. We will delete all the three remote sites configured. Now, it's like a fresh install since we deleted everything. We are now going to restore the backup file which we saved on documents. Go to settings or the gear icon. If the restore option is grayed out then you have to unlock the advanced features again by clicking on the padlock icon. Choose restore. Locate the downloaded file. Select it then click open. Enter your backup configuration password then click OK. In my case I was stocked here, I waited for a few minutes but nothing happened. So again, 
we have to check the full disk access to see if there's a new for the client services needs to grant access. Go back to system preferences. Security and privacy then privacy tab. Scroll down to full disk access and you will see there's one new for the client service needs to grant access. Unlock to make changes, enter your password then click unlock. Check the new for the client service to grant full disk access. Lock the settings. Now, we must shut down the for the client then relaunch again to apply the changes. Click configure VPN again. Go to settings. Enable advanced settings. Enter your password then click OK. Click restore again. Locate the backup file then click open. Enter your password then click OK. Configuration restored successfully. You can now see the three remote sites we have added earlier, let's test to connect to one of the remote site. Success. The Forda client is now fully operational. If you have some comments and suggestions, feel free to drop it below. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and click on the notification bell for more amazing tutorials. Thank you and see you in the next video.